you know this is functions lesson 4 in this I will discuss question based on operation on function now these question does not have any concept you have to solve all the question by common sense CS stands for common sense now question says that fx plus f2 minus x this is equals to 4 you need to find the value of f1 by 100 plus 2 by 100 plus 199 by 100 now straight away without wasting any time you have to put x as 1 by 100 so what you will get f1 by 100 you will get f1 by 100 plus f2 minus 1 by 100 i am putting uh, x as 1 by 100 so this is 2 by 100 this must be equals to 4 now can i say this is equals to f1 by 100 plus f2 minus 1 by 100 you will get this is equals to 1199 by 100 this will be equals to 4 so can i say that first plus last term will give you the sum as 4 same way second and second last term f2 by 100 if you put x is equals to 2 by 100 you will get 2 minus 2 by 100 can i say this equals to f2 by 100 plus f198 by 100 second and second last term will also give uh, you the sum as equals to 4 now you can see that uh, first and the last terms will give you 4 second and second last term is also giving you 4 so how many pairs we can make first last second second last now total number of terms you, if you see this total number of terms are 199 from 1 to 199 see the numerator 1 by 99 2 by 99 or 199 total number of terms are 199 so how many pairs we can make 199 is not divisible by 2 but 198 is divisible by 2 so total terms can be separated into 198 terms and one term 198 terms we can make divided by 2 that is 99 pairs we can make out of 198 terms 99 pairs first last second second last 99 pairs we can make what will this term this term will be the middle term this one term will be the middle term now how to find the middle term when n is odd number of terms are odd the middle term empty would be n by n plus 1 by 2th term will be the middle term so here i am finding the middle term which is n r total number of terms are 199 plus 1 by 2th term can i say this equals to 100th term 100th term will be the middle term so 100 term would be how much can you check by common sense first term is 1 by 100 second term is 2 by 100 third term would be 3 by 100 can i say that 100 term f would be 100 by 100 100 term would be 100 by 100 that is term number 100 t 100 would be 100 by 100 that is f1 uh, will be the 100 so can i say sum would be i'm, I'm just calculating the sum here sum would be how much I am just calculating the sum here. So sum of all these terms. Now how many pairs I am able to make? 99 pairs and each pairs have a sum of 4. You can see that this sum is 4. First and last if you pair it the sum I am getting 4. And second and second last if you sum this this is also equals to 4. So 99 times the 4 will come plus the middle term that is F1 that will be my final sum. How can I find the value of f1 that is the uh, important part now you can easily find the value of f1 put x is equals to 1 but you will get f1 plus f2 minus 1 again f1 this is equals to 4 so can I say that this is equal to twice of f1 equals to 4 f1 will be equals to 2 so you get the got the value of f1 as 2 so sum would be finally 99 into 4 that would be 396 plus 2 answer would be 398 and that will be the medium difficulty level question it's not an easy question but for these questions don't have any concept you only have to apply your common sense second question is fx plus thrice of f1 by x this is equal to 3x plus 1 by x you need to find f3 now rather than uh, putting the heat and trial method uh, we will first remove one of the variable one variable is x fx other variable is f1 by x now what i will do this is given to me i will replace x with 1 by x replace x with 1 by x what i will get 
this become 1 by x, f1 by x plus thrice of fx this equals to 3 by x plus x I just replace uh, x by 1 by x in the whole equation now I got two equation I can remove one variable f1 by x I can get the value of fx then I can easily calculate f3 that is what I need to find the value of f3 now here it is thrice of f1 by x here is only f1 by x so what I will do I will multiply this second equation by 3 I will multiply this second equation by 3 so I will get thrice of f1 by x plus 9 times fx this equals to 9 by x plus 3x so I multiplied this entire equation by 3 now this is the equation number 2 you can assume this is second equation and this is the first equation now if you will subtract second minus 1 second minus 1 so thrice of f1 by x and thrice of f1 by x this will be get cancelled out you will let left with 9 of fx minus fx that will be 8 time fx and subtract on the right hand side 9 by x minus this this minus this 9 by x minus 1 by x you will get 8 by x and 3x minus 3x would be 0 so can I see that what I am getting fx so my fx is equals to 8 and 8 will get cancelled out so my fx is equals to 1 by x that is finally I am left with now what was the question question was to find the value of f3 I can easily find put x is equals to 3 so f3 is equals to 1 by 3 will be my final answer the most important task uh, in this these kind of question is to remove f1 by x so what you have to do you have to replace x by 1 by x then remove f1 by x you will find the fx and you can find any values of f function here I need to calculate f3 you can easily find f3 now question 3 says that fx into y is equal to fx into fy f729 is given to you as 9 you need to find the value of this uh, multiplication you need to find the value of this multiplication now this is an easy question you must try first yourself then look at the way I have solved can I say that fx into y is given to me as fx into fy now all these are in multiplication can I say that 243 into 3 will make 729 so can I say that f3 into f243 this will be equals to fx into y that is 3 into 243 which is equals to f729 so this and this become 729 same way f9 and 81 this 9 and 81 also becomes your 729 can I say that is equals to f9 into f81 this is equals to f9 into 81 can I say this is equals to f also the equals to f729 so I have made the pair of 3 243 981 now next is I will make the pair of f1 and 27 1 and 27 can I say that f1 into f27 will become f1 into 27 uh, that is f27 f27 now uh, let me solve this uh, entire question now put the values of uh, f3 into f243 this f729 this will become 2 times f729 9 into 81 3 into 2, two values I have put uh, this is f27 so I am only left with these three things I have replaced f3 into 243 by 729 same way 9 into 81 by 729 1 into 27 by 27 now this we know that this is 9 this is also equals to 9 now how to find the value of f27 now how to find the value of f27 again we will use our basic equation which was our basic equation was I am just holding here our basic equation was fx into y this was given to us as fx into fy how to find the value of f27 put x and y both are 27 f27 into f27 
this will be equals to 27 into 27 can i this equals to again f729 this is equals to 9 is equals to f27 whole square so it means that f27 will be equals to 3 so i got the value of f27 so answer will be 9 into 9 into 3 that is 243 will be my final answer now these kind of questions are very important because uh, in this question pure logic is applied with the common sense so that was all about uh, lesson 4 question based on operation on function thank you